I think at the present time it's very important that we all realize we need to move from our past practice of looking for better drugs to suppress chronic synovitis to recognizing that children with rheumatic diseases have a wide variety of different diseases, that there is no single disease, juvenile inflammatory or juvenile idiopathic arthritis or juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. It's many different diseases. Only once we recognize this can we properly begin to investigate the genetics, the etiology, and the pathogenesis of these diseases. Once we do so, we can start working to cure these diseases, which is going to be the only way we're going to be able to really provide the needed improvements in the quality of life to so many children around the world. None of the diseases under the umbrella of juvenile arthritis are curable at this time. There's the one very select subgroup of mild oligoarthritis that does in fact go away by itself. The rest of them are chronic lifelong conditions and people, physicians, and parents need to realize that because so often they're inhibited in treating these diseases aggressively because they think the child will grow out of it. And it's just not true for the vast majority of these children. Absolutely. The more damage you're allowed to accumulate, the more things that we're never going to be able to fix that happen to that child and the more the long-term disability that they're going to be stuck with. The earlier you stop the accumulation of damage, the better the outcome is going to be. The biologic era has revolutionized pediatric rheumatology. No longer do we have a need for splinting, no longer do we have a need for rehabilitation centers. The vast majority of children are having everything revolutionized by getting on these medications and being able to forget they have the disease. You know, throughout life, all of us are going to be exposed to risk at a number of different levels whether it's driving in a car, crossing the street, or flying on the airplane, we're never going to be able to provide a medication that's entirely free of risk. But if you've watched children grow up with chronic disease and then watch how their lives have been revolutionized by the appearance of the anti-TNFs, the benefits so far outweigh the risk for so many children that for any child to be denied these drugs because their parents are in fear of what might happen is a terrible shame. We need to remember that parents don't feel the child's pain. They only feel their potential guilt if something goes wrong. But they're allowing their children to be disabled and remain in pain. Whereas if it was their pain, they wouldn't hesitate to take these drugs. <laughs>